Hi, my name is Darren Winterton. I work for ST Microelectronics, and I want to demonstrate uh, a solution on how you can eliminate uh, issues with running our time of flight, uh, where the environment is a very dirty environment, or you have a situation where you want to have no calibration needed in your factory. But before I get into that, I want to give a little bit on our time of flight technology itself. So here we're showing uh, a standard time of flight device. Uh, we have an emitter, um, which is a laser VIXEL, uh, transmitting photons. The photons will travel out, hit the target, bounce off it, and come back to our sensor. Uh, knowing the amount of time that the photon traveled, we can calculate down to the millimeter that the photon traveled and give you that distance data. So we have three different products currently available on the open market. Uh, the first one is the VL6180X, the second one is the VL53L0X, and the last one is the VL53L1X. Uh, they, they all have different range of capabilities from uh, 10 or 20 centimeters all the way out to 4 meters. So depending on the application, uh, we, we should be able to have a device ranging to the needs that you need. Just getting into uh, the issue of a dirty environment, this is showing a cross-section of our part um, in, in a typical system. You do need a cover glass with our device, and the cover glass is to protect our device from getting dirt on it, um, and also to protect it just from wear and tear. The issue is um, when the green line shows how a photon should be traveling, a photon should go right through the glass, hit a target, and come back. The issue that you might have, especially if you have a dirty environment, is the photon will actually leave our device and bounce within the glass, or hit the dirt and then bounce within the glass, and back to our receiver. This will cause a very short distance to be seen instead of the actual target distance that you want to see. To give a demonstration, I'm now gonna take our standard GUI and show you how we put just a single piece of glass on top of the device. And you can see right now it's ranging the ceiling with no problem, it's ranging at about 2.1 meters. If we take a little bit of debris and put it on top of the device, immediately you can see uh, that instead of ranging the ceiling, it's now only arranging the debris and it's saying the distance is about five centimeters. If I blow away the debris, we're back to reading the ceiling. So you can see just a little bit of dirt really uh, can make the, the readings that you're getting uh, completely erroneous. The proposal that we have is showing where we're putting uh, an opaque barrier or divider between the transmitter and the receiver. So the green photons, uh, the ones that we want to hit our target and come back, uh, they still operate just as they were before, but now in the new solution we're actually using two pieces of glass um, and, and the divider in between. So when a photon leaves and hits either the dirt or the top of the glass, instead of bouncing through the glass and back to the receiver, it's going to be hitting the barrier and either being absorbed or bounced away out in the atmosphere. And our device sees none of these erroneous photons causing a short distance. To give you a better visual of the actual uh, holder for the cover glass, this is a 3D step model, which is available uh, from ST, where if I start rotating, you can start seeing how the device is working, where you have a hole for both the transmitter and the receiver. On the bottom side, you have the hole uh, for the part to fit in, and then the light blocker uh, in the middle. If we now put on the cover glass holder with the two pieces of glass, again, we're arranging the ceiling, and that's about 2.1 meters. And as I start adding debris to our device, you can see we're, we're just still barely reading on the ceiling. The reason we're starting to lose some range is we're covering up the laser, so less light is being emitted. But if I put my hand in, you can see I'm still ranging my hand just fine. As I keep adding more and more debris to the device, now again we're seeing no target, but I put my hand and we're still ranging just fine. And if I keep adding more and more to where it's completely filthy, you can see, uh, you can't even see uh, through the glass, but if I put my hand here, you can see I'm still arranging my hand. I can only arrange about eight or nine centimeters, but enough laser light is leaving our device, able to hit my hand and, and still make it through that debris and still give a correct reading. So this really solves a problem for dirty environments or it solves an issue where you want to make sure that you have no calibration needed in factory by always giving you a zero crosstalk. If you have any more questions uh, on this technology, please visit our website at www.st.com or contact your local sales representative and they'll be happy to help you out with any questions you might have. Thank you and have a good day.